The Gators get a statement win in the swamp. Mark Rogers TV just minutes after Florida downs LSU 14 to 6. The key factor by far in this game, Florida's dominance up front, both offensively and defensively. Let's start with the offense first. LSU led 6-0 at the half, had held Florida to just 47 total yards of offense, and then the ground game got going in the second half for the Gators. Mike Gillisley was a workhorse, 34 carries, a buck 46, and two touchdowns. Jeff Driscoll ran it from the quarterback position. We talked about this in our preview of this game, that Driscoll could be a difference running the football and posing that threat and making the Bayou Bengals respect the run from the QB position in this game. But it was Gillisley an added offensive lineman up front as Florida didn't try to trick LSU in the second half, but pounded away with the ground game to take this football game. Two touchdown drives for Florida in the second half, 17 rushes and just one pass on those two scoring drives. They came right at LSU's vaunted front seven on defense and made it happen. Montgomery and Mingo, the two great LSU defensive ends, were neutralized. And the two fine linebackers for the Bayou Bengals, Quan Alexander and Kevin Minter, had to leave the game due to injury. Minter had 13 total tackles but missed most of the third and fourth quarters as Florida took control of this game on offense. And they also did it on defense. Last year and in recent years, LSU has dominated this matchup in the trenches and especially in the fourth quarter. 238 yards rushing last year in this matchup. Not today. Where Hilliard and Ford ran 17 times for 51 yards. That's just three per pop. Those LSU running backs averaged six yards per carry coming in. So the Florida defense, much tougher this time around in a big SEC matchup. They've been called out by their coach, Will Muschamp, during the offseason as being soft. They have toughened up, and they won the biggest game for the Gators in recent memory in defeating uh, the LSU Tigers again, 14-6, to move on to 6-0. and And we certainly need to note the huge play made by uh, Florida safety Matt Elam in the third quarter. Zach Mettenberger finally hit on a big play to Odell Beckham on a perfectly thrown ball down the right sideline. 56-yard play, but Elam swept in, stripped the football, the replay showed it. The reversal was made from the call on the field that Beckham was down. 56-yard play wiped out. Florida took over and marched on to victory from there. At that point, they had led it just 7-6, to six, but dominated in the second half. The Gators outscoring the Tigers 14 to nothing. So what does this tell us? That the Florida Gators are for real, and they will challenge in the SEC East. LSU's got a big game with South Carolina coming up next week. The Gators go to Vandy, and then play the South Carolina Gamecocks, who are whipping up on Georgia right now in the first quarter, 21 to nothing. Need to hear from you on LSU and Florida and what's in store for us in the SEC for 2012 on Mark Rogers TV.